I'm just doing a, a bit of a review on the settings on the Rutus Alta 71. Um, the Alta 71 means it does 71 different frequencies from 4 to 18 hertz. Uh, quite a, a versatile machine. Um, if you buy the full package it comes with two coils and a wireless module. Um, the coil that's on the detector at the minute is the 11 inch coil. You've also got a 9 inch concentric coil and the wireless module which pairs up quite easy to the headphones. Now we'll turn it on for you just so we can go through a few settings. When it comes on it asks you to do a ground balance but we'll just go through the sequence just for the settings and put it on a factory preset which I can show you how to do the the ground balance afterwards. Now the centre button gives you your sensitivity okay which is set at 70. The discrimination which you can discriminate your iron, your foil or if you want just leave it wide open you can leave it wide open but your, your discrimination can be adjusted by these two side buttons here. Now it's got the notch on this part so if you want to notch out different segments of if you find that foil comes in um, somewhere underneath the gold or in between the iron and the foil or, or wherever then you can notch that out by using this feature here. Whenever you want to come out of these settings all you've got to do is press the trigger at the back. Now it's got your, your preset programs that are built in which are quite good. So you press the, the power, the programs button there and you can work through them all. It's got two deep settings um, which run in low frequency. The ultra deep which runs at 5 and the deep which runs at 7. The big silver which runs at 5. The basic which runs at 8. The coins which runs at 15. And then you've got two fast modes, the fast and the ultra fast. Now these two modes run at high frequency at 18 hertz. So we'll just put it on the coins just so we can go through the different settings for you now. Now, if you press the right button here, menu, just every time that, that you come out of the settings, it will ask you to do a ground balance, so you just have to go into the factory preset. So go into the menu button, and the engine here gives you your frequency of what this, this mode is in. Well, it coins, it's on 15.2. You can adjust that to whatever you want. Okay? Underneath you've got the hot rock, which is set at neutral. But you can use the different settings or values to get rid of the hot rocks. You've got the reaction, which on this mode set at 4, the reaction is the speed. And the masking, which is the, the, the iron bias. Um, what I've got to state is, with this machine, it is good around iron. Um, it's very good. Uh, you, you can put targets right up against iron and using these features in the settings you can pick up some really good targets that are very close to iron so we'll go on to the audio side now you've got your threshold level which is set at zero um, but you can adjust it to whatever you want you've also got the tone there the threshold and the sensitivity of the threshold you've got the VCO which the advice in the manual to turn it on um, is to help with the all metal mode of how smooth it runs and also the TH sat which is all to do with the all metal mode. The audio gain is set at 20 um, I set mine around 45 to 50 um, if you run it too high then you won't be able to tell which of the which of the deeper targets and you've got your volume which goes up to 30 now the tones feature here there are preset in tones and relics which are all different tones to play with. You've also got three user modes which you can make up yourself once you've learnt the detector. Now the wireless is off um, because I've been using um, the speaker that's, that's in the detector. But you've got channel 1 and channel 2. Now on the little, the little wireless um, module that you can clip on your belt or, or put in your pocket. As long as you keep the same channel on the module as what's on, on the detector, then 
it'll pair up no problem at all. Just plug in your wireless, your wireless earphone straight into the uh, to, to the module, and then away you go. If you want to knock it back off, just go back and go put it off, and it'll put you back into the speaker. Now on the screen setting here, you've got the backlight, the ID type, which which is at 12, 12 hertz, well 12 kilohertz. Um, on this setting, the the VDI on on the the actual reading itself will give you a true reading. But if you drop it down into the five kilohertz, then it recommends that you drop it down. And you've also got the reel as well, but that is something that really takes time to learn. Because every time you change the, the frequency, then it changes the VDI readings of all your different targets. And you've also got the whole time. The whole time is quite a good feature. Um, it just tells you how long the VDI readings stay on the screen for. And last of all, you've got the language which is set at English. But there is a few different languages on there. Now to come out of this, this setting, pull the trigger... And then it'll ask you to do a ground balance. Now to do this ground balance, it asks you to pull the surge coil up, pull the trigger. And then pump the coil five times. And when the detector's ready, it'll give you your soil conditions. Okay. Now the pinpoint feature on this is quite easy. You pull the trigger in over the target. And it is quite an accurate pinpoint. Now we'll turn the detector off now. Any questions that uh, you want to ask about, about this detector, then just drop us a message underneath the video. If you like it, like it and subscribe. And I'll look forward to, uh, I'll look forward to doing another video.